Hi, I'm Jennifer Lepore, Online Education Manager here at Artist Network TV. And we are here in the Artist Network TV studios today with Maggie Price. Hi, Maggie, welcome. Hi, thank you. Well, we just wanted to introduce you to the audience and just let everybody get to know you a little bit better. So, just kind of wanted to start out with how long have you been painting and has it always been in pastels? Because that's what we've been working on these last few days. Well, I, I pretty much have been painting and drawing all of my life. I started painting in oils as a self-taught painter when I was 14. And I worked in oils for quite a few years. Um, at some point I started having some little sensitivity to solvents, so I thought, well, I'll just try acrylics. So I worked in acrylics for quite a few years. Then I saw pastels. <laughs> Not the sticks, but the finished paintings. I didn't know how you made them yet. But I saw the finished paintings and they were just so beautiful. I said, well, maybe I'll give those a try. And that was 20 years ago, and I've not really looked back. Oh my gosh, they, they look so yummy. I know, looking at your box back here, I've been wanting to almost eat them. They're so juicy looking and colorful. And um, also another thing that we've been working on is landscapes. Both of the DVDs, um, painting from photos and painting sunlight and shadow, have been landscape subjects. What draws you to that subject? It's just the thing that's always caught my eye. I think. I think it's the way light hits the land. I've always been excited about the landscape. It speaks to me. I, I, I see places I love, and I want to paint them and share them with people. So. And do you paint other subjects as well? I do. I painted many other subjects. In school, I spent two years drawing the figure, two years uh, doing anatomical drawing, because I found that fascinating. But I never fell in love with drawing the figure. I always, always went back to the landscape. But this last year, I've been afraid I might be getting in a rut, and I mm -hmm. certainly don't want to do that. So I've been exploring figure, still life, animals. I've been particularly fascinated with how light comes through windows and describes interiors, but with external light. Nice. It's kind of a combination of all of it. Very good. And from Painting with photos, we've kind of used those um, for the DVDs that we've done. We had photo references. Do you always work from photo references? No, I don't. I paint outdoors whenever I get a chance, but mm -hmm. living in a climate where we have actual winter, uh, I don't go outdoors to paint when it's below 50 degrees and oh, my hands yeah. freeze and I drop the pastels. That's not good. So in the winter, I like to paint indoors and work mm -hmm. on composition and other aspects of uh, painting that you don't have time to explore when you're out there and the sun is moving, the clouds are moving, and the bugs are biting. <laughs> mm -hmm. So your photo, your photos are almost a piece of art then that you translate into your pastels? They are. I, mm -hmm. I like to tell my students that your photos are your first compositional decisions. When you're out there and you see something wonderful and you say, ooh, I want to paint that, and you pick up that camera, right then you make the decision. This is my subject. This is where I want to put the edges of my subject and here's my focal point. I think it's important at that point to just take a minute and remind yourself to consider what's the angle of light, what's the position of the sun, what time of day is it, what's the darkest dark in the photo or in the subject and what's the lightest light. And if you just make a mental note of those things, you'll be surprised how much you can remember later. Ideally, it'd be great if you could take a notebook, jot all that down, write the photo number, uh, if you don't have time for that, you'll still be surprised how much you remember just by thinking it through. Well, thank you so much for being here today. It's been really inspirational watching you paint and just seeing the photos come to life in a whole new way on the on the surface. I wanted to just share some, have you share something with everybody that you shared with me the other night. It's something that I think will give people just a little bit more confidence to open up their pastel box and get going with it. And it was something you had mentioned about talent versus interest. Yeah, it's something I feel very strongly about. I've, I've had a lot of people say to me, you know, I'd love to paint, but I don't have any talent. And, and I like to remind them that talent alone is not enough. If you have talent and you're not interested in learning to be an artist, you will never be an artist. But if you have the interest, the desire, the passion to pursue art, yeah, I don't think it matters if you have talent. You can learn it. You can do it. Great. Well, thank you. Thank you for having me you here. It's been a great, welcome. great fun. Thank you. And see everybody later.